Hello everyone, in this video I will cover the brief history of glass, how it has evolved and used in the building industry, myths and some interesting facts about glass, how the application of glass has changed during the timeline and more. So stay with me till the end. Naturally occurring glass, especially the volcanic glass, also known as obsidian, which is the form of igneous rock. It is formed when molten rock material cools so rapidly that atoms are unable to arrange themselves into a crystalline structure. It is an amorphous material known as mineraloid. The result is a volcanic glass with a smooth uniform texture that breaks with a consoidal fracture which results in a smooth rounded surface resembling the shape of a scallop shell. It has been used by many stone age societies across the globe to produce sharp cutting tools and due to its limited source areas was extensively traded. The ancient Roman historian Pliny the Elder suggested that Phoenician merchants made the first glass in the region of Syria around 5000 BC. Pliny reported that merchants who trade natron, which is a mineral found in the dried lake beds, also known as soda, when they stopped to prepare a meal, they supported their cooking vessels on the beach with the natron blocks from their cargo. The heat of the fire fused natron and sand and a new substance was formed. This Pliny says was the origin of glass. But according to the archaeological evidence, the first man-made glass was in eastern Mesopotamia in Egypt around 3500 BC and the first glass vessels were made about 1500 BC in Egypt and Mesopotamia. For the next 300 years, the glass industry was increased rapidly and then declined. In Mesopotamia, it was revived in the 700 BC and Egypt in the 500 BC. For the next 500 years, Egypt, Syria and other countries along the eastern coast of the Mediterranean Sea were centers for glass manufacturing. Because of Egypt's favorable environment for preservation, most of the well-studied early glass is found there, although some of this is likely to have been imported. The earliest known glass objects of the mid-3rd millennium BC were beads, perhaps initially created as accidental byproducts of metalworking, which is slag, and also during the production of fangs because silica is used as an ingredient to create fanes. These are thin glazed earthenware made in France, Germany, Spain and Scandinavia. It is distinguished from thin glazed earthenware made in Italy which is called Majolica or Maiolica and that made in the Netherlands and England which is called Delft. These are pre-glass vitruvious material made by a process similar to glazing. In the beginning, it was very hard and slow to manufacture glass. Glass melting furnaces were small and the heat they produced was hardly enough to melt glass. But in the 1st century BC, Syrian craftsmen invented the blowpipe. This revolutionary discovery made glass production easier, faster and cheaper. The technique spread throughout the Roman Empire. Production of clear glass by the introduction of manganese dioxide increased the range of application of glass. People started to use them for architectural purposes. For example, cast glass windows began to appear in the most important buildings and villas in Rome and Pompeii. Over the next 1000 years, glass production flourished in the Roman Empire and spread from Italy to all countries under its rule. 
In 1000 AD, the Egyptian city of Alexandria was the most important center of glass manufacture. In the 7th century, Anglo-Saxon glass was used in churches and cathedrals. By 11th century, sheet glass was made by the crown glass process. In this process, the glass blower would spin molten glass at the end of a rod until it flattened into a disc. The disc would then be cut into paints. By the 13th century, this technique was perfected in Venice. Throughout Europe, the miraculous art of making stained glass from churches and cathedrals across the continent reached its height in the finest charters and Canterbury cathedrals windows produced in the 13th and 14th centuries. By the 15th century BC, extensive glass production was occurring in Western Asia, Crete and Egypt. The first glass making manual dates to around 650 BC. Instructions on how to make glass are contained in cuneiform tablets discovered in the library of the Assyrian king Ashurbanipal. It is thought that the techniques and recipes required for the initial fusing of glass from raw materials were a closely guarded technological secret reserved for the large palace industries of powerful status. Glass workers in other areas, therefore, relied on imports of performed glass, often in the form of cast ingots such as those found on the Uluburun shipwreck of the coast of modern Turkey. Stained glass windows were used in Gothic, Renaissance and Baroque architecture from the 11th to the 18th century. The examples of stunning patterns created by using colorful glass are immortalized by great artists all over the world. The crown glass process was used up to the mid-19th century. In the 19th century, flat or sheet glass were used in making windows. These were completely flat and did not have any optical distortions. But glass was still an item of luxury as it took large resources, brilliant skill and immense energy to be produced. In 1958, Pilkington and Bickerstaff introduced the revolutionary float grass process to the world. This method gave the sheet uniform thickness and very flat surface. Modern windows are made from float glass. From the beginning of the 20th century, modern architecture has been instrumental in the mass production of concrete, glass and steel buildings in the factories we call cities. This ideology helped accommodate the housing needs of the burgeoning middle class. Glass and steel construction have become the symbol of development in many countries, where people tend to see these buildings as symbols of affluence and luxury. <laughs>